If you are looking to buy a height adjustable desk, then you must have zeroed in on these few options. But after a lot of thinking and research, I bought this green sole LX table at full price. This can be 3 or 4000 rupees more expensive than other desks, but the main reason that I got this model was that it has 4 legs with dual motors compared to 2 legs on other models, it has a bigger tabletop, and this also has a 150 kg capacity compared to 80 kgs of other tables, so in the long term, paying a bit extra for a better product can be a smart idea. Hey guys, I am Siddharth, and while this looks amazing on paper, there are some things that bother me about it, so let's talk about that. I was really surprised to see that the whole table comes in this small box, inside which you get the installation instructions which are moderately difficult to understand. I would advise to carefully see which kind of screw goes in which part because it's easy to mix the two. You are provided with just an allen key screwdriver combo which was a bit disappointing to see. After you assemble the frame and put plastic pieces on the motors, you'll have to carefully attach the two pieces of tabletop to each other and put it on the frame. Then you have to screw the frame to the tabletop and screw in the remote control and other accessories like the bottle holder and headphone holder. And finally you have to connect the motors to each other with this 6 pin connector for power. And then there are also these two types of clips that you can use to hide the cable. After this, you can just attach the power adapter and you're done. At least on the Amazon product page, they say that the installation will be provided by Greensole, but I wasn't contacted by anyone for the installation. The table looks quite good with its 4 legs that give it a premium feel over the 2 leg tables. The build of the metal frame and the paint on it also feels high quality and the motors do look tiny but they are quite powerful. The tabletop measures 160 by 75 cm which is around 20 cm longer than other tables around its price range and it is actually large enough to accommodate a big PC setup. The bottle holder and headphone hanger are also nice and you can screw them anywhere you like. You can adjust the height easily by pressing the up or down arrows and we also have buttons for making it directly go to the standing or sitting positions. These buttons also have memory so you can keep them pressed and they will store your current height and then you can easily switch between your desired levels. The maximum height of this table is comically high at 117cm and I don't think that most people will need that but it is good to have it for special purposes. Even at its highest point, it is quite stable. The minimum height on it is 72cm and even though this height will be low enough for most people, I wish that it could go lower because some people may want to have their keyboards even lower for a better typing position. Greensole claims that the weight capacity on this desk is 150kg while all the other desks that I had checked out claimed 75 for 80 kg weight limit and this table was actually able to lift my 77 kg body without any issues. I may not have dared to test the motors like this on a table with an 80 kg capacity. They also say that it has obstacle detection but I wasn't able to easily test it and I will really advise that you don't have anything in its way while you are adjusting its height. So the motors are quite good and the adjustment happens quite smoothly but the rotating axle on one of the corners was making some squeaking noise while adjusting which I was able to fix by unscrewing this part and spraying some WD-40 inside which made me feel very smart about myself. The motors do still make some noise but it is a nice mechanical sound which is not loud enough to bother you. I had considered getting a manual desk to avoid any chances of a motor failure but then I thought that motors aren't that complicated and I think that they should be easily replaceable in case you face any issues. I am actually glad that I bought an automatic height adjustable desk because it takes so many rotations to adjust this up and down that I think that a manual desk will just require too much effort and time and it may make you just feel like sitting instead of standing up and rotating it 150 times but that is something that you may be into if you want to burn some extra calories. Greensole gives a 1 year warranty on the motors while the desk has a 3 year warranty. I have had the backrest of my Greensole chair replaced because of a minor issue and even though that took a lot of time and messages and I don't think that their service is flawless at all, I do think that their service should be better than the lesser known brands which are selling adjustable desks. Now the weakest part of this overall package is the tabletop which is a particle board that is split into two and this is not easily visible in product images. I was actually planning to just replace the tabletop with a proper plywood top with a nice laminate which would have cost me 3 to 4 thousand rupees but this turned out to be good enough for me to delay my plan of doing that. The problem with particle boards is that they are made of very fine wood particles unlike real wood so that of course affects its durability especially around the corners. 
As far as particle boards go, this one is of decent quality and the laminate on it is also nice but my biggest problem with it is that it comes split into two parts which makes the center of this table have this thin line of division and I think that most people won't mind this but I shoot product shots on this and the line looks quite visible. Other than that, I didn't find the strength to be an issue but the tabletop is an average part of this table which is otherwise of very good quality. You can of course replace it if you ever face issues with it. Unlike a computer desk that has holes in it for inserting cables, this is a multi-purpose desk with a plain tabletop that you can also use for computers. Being able to stand up to work is the obvious advantage of getting a desk like this and it can make a big difference if you have to work for long hours. Anterior pelvic tilt is the second biggest issue after short form content that the youth is facing today and standing up instead of sitting can help with that. I personally bought this so I don't have to adjust the height of my tripod while taking product shots and it does that really well. So the reason that I got this desk over other desks was because of the quality and strength of its frame and because it is from Greensole which is a brand that I trust more than other brands. I bought it at a price of 28,000 rupees but it generally goes for a thousand or two lower than that and if you have zero din on an adjustable desk that costs around 23,000 rupees or more, I think that getting this model instead of those makes a lot of sense. There can be different approaches to buying an adjustable desk. If you want to buy a manually adjustable desk, I think that is also totally fine and if you want to buy a desk without a tabletop, that is also fine. If you are not going to put anything heavy on your desk, then I think that the tables with two legs can also be good enough. But but if you want a heavy duty product with a bigger top and a higher load capacity, then the Greensole LX is the best option that I could find and even though I think that most of the adjustable desks are a little overpriced, this one made the most sense to me compared to other options. So I'll have links to check it out in the video description along with some other options that I had finalized. Do give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful, subscribe with bell for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.